And speaking of the election, let's focus on the presidential election tomorrow because the economy, it's a key issue for voters and more specifically for jobs. And with that in mind, Yahoo Finance took a look at how much money workers at the largest companies in each battleground state are spending to support the nominees this year. Alexis Keenan has those details for us. Alexis, what did you find? Hi, Shauna. So what we're talking about here are 12 states that are considered battleground states, along with Maine's second district. Maine, of course, is allowed to split its electoral votes. So um, that is an issue as well as in that territory. Now, I looked at how much money the uh, employees at the largest companies in each of these battleground states have spent on one hand to donate directly to the presidential campaigns uh, for the nominees and also to PACs that contribute directly to fund those campaigns. There's one exception and that is money raised by the online platforms WinRed and ActBlue. Those are the partisan donation platforms online. Um, those were taken in whole for their numbers because they don't necessarily always indicate which uh, earmarked uh, funds are where they're going necessarily. So if you take a look at the map we have to show you, I, the, we can see there that Walmart is not only the largest employer in the entire country, but also the largest employer in four of these very important battleground states. That's Texas, Florida, North Carolina, and Pennsylvania. Those four states, they also are some of the most consequential battlegrounds in terms of their electoral votes, as well as uh, places where the race is really just razor thin at this point. Now, the big takeaway, though, from looking at all of this data uh, is that uh, these battleground workers, um, they spent to fund uh, former Vice President Biden's campaign much more aggressively than they did to President Trump's campaign. The total spending, if we take a look at from these employees uh, at these firms, spent 3.15 million contributing to uh, President, rather Vice President Biden's campaign, uh, versus 842,000 to uh, Trump's campaign. Now, the states where the donations were a little more even-handed, uh, spread between the candidates. Those were Texas, of course, 38 electoral votes up for grabs there. Walmart employees in Texas spent 69.5 thousand uh, versus Trump's spent 47 thousand dollars. Florida Walmart employees spent 43 thousand and 36 thousand on President Trump. And in Nevada, that's MGM Resorts is the largest employer there. Uh, employees there spent 150 thousand on Biden and 120 thousand on President Trump.